Hello everyone, this is the daily devotional video for May 27th, 2017. Our passage for today is in the book of Revelation, the last book in the New Testament. Revelation chapter 19, and we're reading verses 11 through 16. <coughs> Excuse me. Then I saw heaven opened. And behold, a white horse, and he who sat on him was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he judges and makes war. His eyes were like a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. He had a name written that no one knew except himself. He was clothed with a robe dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies in heaven, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, follow him on white horses. Now out of his mouth goes a sharp sword, that with it he should strike the nations. And he himself will rule them with a rod of iron. He himself treads the winepress, of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. And he has on his robe and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. The title for today's devotional is King of Kings. In today's passage, Revelation 19, we see Jesus exalted as a King of Kings. He is shown returning to earth to rescue his people, judge the wicked, and set up his kingdom. As heaven opens, Christ rides out on a white horse in power and great glory. This appearance is nothing like his quiet arrival in Bethlehem as a helpless baby. This time, quote, every eye will see him, end quote. That's Revelation 1-7, as he comes to bring inescapable judgment. The exalted king is not coming alone. The armies of heaven who are clothed in the fine linen of the bride of Christ, as Revelation 19-7-8, are following him on white horses. If you are a Christian, you will be in this army of saints and angels. This describes the fulfillment of the promise that says believers are going to rule and reign with him. That's Revelation 5.10. One day, Jesus will literally reign on this earth as king. But even before that time, he comes to rule in the heart of every believer. Sometimes, Christians try to keep him exclusively in the role of Savior. But salvation is just the beginning of all the blessings the Lord has in store for us. Only in submission and obedience to Christ's authority will we be transformed into his image and live a life worthy of his reward. Reference Revelation 22.12 In all practicality, who is the king of your life? Who is it that guides your decisions and directs your path? The Creator has a plan and purpose for your life, which should be discovered only by living under the authority of Jesus Christ. May His kingdom come and His will be done on earth and in your heart. I hope these emotions are an encouragement and a blessing to you. I hope they, they make you want to spend time in God's Word. There's so much in there. I really hope you take time daily for that. I love you guys with all my heart, and I'll see you back here again tomorrow.